I love two host regulators. <laughs> they really are a lot of fun. Alec Pierce, scuba tech tips. Um, so uh, obviously, I uh, you may think I've got the wrong playlist going here. No, this this is a tech tip. Uh, we did we did do if you're interested uh, a series of videos on double hose regulators on my vintage scuba playlist just look down the left side of your screen there you'll find them and it was pretty interesting because there is a lot of interest in double hose regulators a couple of things just to to let you know why uh, first of all a lot of people were uh, i don't know if they were trained on double hose i was i was trained on double hose regulators in the late 50s uh, a lot of people were trained on uh, double hose regulators and a lot of them used them these were these were Used. these were common up until 1975 or so was approximately the last year that these were actually used and they were very popular and there's a bit of a mystique with double hose regulators, you know, these old, neat old devices, this is sort of the, the uh, uh, epitome of scuba diving, you know, and you see a scuba diver in the movies, he sometimes has one of these on, so they're pretty neat and pretty popular still. Here's the difficulty, that if you do have one of these fantastic old regulators, <clears throat> I think it's wonderful, first of all, I have a lot of them, a couple hundred, and, uh, and it's in pretty good shape, you, you can actually take it diving, there's no reason why not. Depending on the make and model, you can actually get it completely rebuilt, with new parts and, and there's completely serviced. There's, a, there's a, a very good friend of mine, Brian, who owns a company called VintageDoubleHose.com. VintageDoubleHose.com. And um, if you're thinking of buying one, check, with, check that website first uh, because he'll tell you which ones you can get parts and service for and which ones you can't. Or we just did a, a recent uh, vintage scuba episode on exactly that, so be a little bit careful. But if you have one, you want to get it serviced, get a hold of them. You can have a service, and it works like new, just like new. Here's the practical problem. That's it. That's what you get. You get a regulator that goes onto the tank, and you get two hoses that go to your mouth. What's missing? Well, there's no pressure gauge. That's right, SPG, no pressure gauge. So, uh, no way to put a pressure gauge or a transmitter on. Not easily. There are various adapters that have been made up over the years, but they're kind of uh, stopgap. I wouldn't say Mickey Mouse, they work, but they're not great. Banjos and so on. You, some of you guys know what I'm talking about. But no pressure gauge, no high pressure port, uh, uh, no low pressure port. So you can't put a safe second on. Yeah, obviously, if that's the case, you also can't put on your dry suit inflator, and you can't put on a, 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 a buoyancy compensator inflator, none of that stuff. So, and, and mo most of those things are mandatory now. If you're diving with a group in particular, or if you're diving from a, from a charter boat, from a dive charter boat with a group of professional divers, then you have to have an SPG that won't allow you to dive without one. And you have to have a safe second, and in most cases you have to have a BCD. If you're diving with one of these old two hose rings, you, you can't do that. Wow, you couldn't do that. Watch this. You see it? Beautiful old U.S. Divers Aquamaster. Here's the same regulator. <clears throat> same regulator. Yep, Aqu Aquamaster. Absolutely the same regulator. Now, this particular one is Kevin. This belongs to Kevin, our director, cameraman, producer, and everything else except a pretty face and a glib tongue. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, this is the same regulator, which he purchased from me actually a while ago. And we had it serviced and cleaned, and he was actually using it a couple of times. And here's the problem. Kevin went down to Cozumel. Yes, with a group of divers. Yes, diving on one of the dive boats in Cozumel. He was actually diving with friends of ours, people that we know at the, at the, the, at the uh, dive store, the dive charter. They, they know us really well. And uh, when he showed up with his Aqua, Aqua Master, they wouldn't let him dive with it. Now... It was a bit annoying because the regulator worked perfectly. But, you know, it is 2018 and there are rules and restrictions designed to not to restrict the divers, but to keep all the divers safe as a collective group. So if you don't have an octopus, you can say, well, I don't need an octopus because I'm an old diver and I'm, you know, don't talk to me about how long you've been diving. I've been diving for 60 years and I wouldn't dive without an octopus for the simple reason I'm not going to buddy breathe. That's right. You run out of there, you come to me, and you want to body breathe. <laughs> That's why I carry a knife. I have a safe second, and you're welcome to take some air on my safe second, but you're not getting this one. You know, it's just the way it is. So, no, you know, this is the way it is. Most of these restrictions or requirements are there for the safety of the sport, for the safety of the divers, for the safety of the community, for the safety of that specific group. Also to protect the dive operators from liability. Of course, it's all a package. So you need to have a pressure gauge. If you don't want one, you know, not too bright, but you have to have one to dive, you need to have a safe second. 
okay? You need to have a buoyancy compensator with a power inflator. If you're diving in very cold water, and these regs are good in cold water, you, you probably want a dry suit. You need to have a dry suit and inflator. So you have to have those additional ports. Now what do you do? Oh, very simple. Once again, I mentioned my good friend Brian down at VintageDoubleHose.com. You just get a hold and go to the website. It's all on there. And what he can do, this is Kevin's, what he'll do is he'll take your old regulator. First thing he'll do is strip it completely. You'll find any fault with it, correct anything, clean the whole darn thing, make it beautiful. But he'll also install, you, you maybe can't see it too well, but he will install a completely new first stage block in here and that first stage block with a new first stage new modern parts and second stage too but in that first stage block that he installs you can't see it but this is about an inch longer than the original there's a low pressure port <laughs> for your safe second yeah and, and and there's a high pressure port for your transmitter or if you prefer if you'd like to have a pressure gauge once you have a pressure gauge on your Kevin oh yeah you can actually have a this, this is Kevin's um, uh, hose mounted computer air integrated so there's at least two if not three high pressure ports and there's two or three low pressure ports you can have your you can have your buoyancy compensator and you can have your safe second and there's another port in there for your dry suit so this now is still an old vintage regulator body old style and actually basically the body is still the same upgraded updated whatever you want to call it meets 2018 safe diving standards new hoses new mouthpiece and just just gorgeous these these hoses are much better than the originals they have weights on them and keep from bubbling oh, all kinds of things a special mouthpiece you go on to vintage double hose and read about it so that's the only reason i'm doing this is i know a lot of you guys out there have old regulators you'd like to dive with them but there's a difficulty, not that you can't dive with them, but there's a difficulty if you want to dive within the sport. Okay, because they don't meet current standards. But you can correct that. That's what you do. So here's a great, beautiful, old double hose Aqualung Aquamaster regulator, ready to go diving anywhere in the world. And Kevin has now been diving with us. He's been down south again, and some dives up here in the north and all over, and it's perfectly accepted. Someone looks, oh, wow, a two hose. What about pressure gauge? Right here? And it's all set to go. So there is an answer. There is an answer. If you guys want to dive in one of these, then that's the answer for you. Okay? And there's lots of other great information on that website, so don't be afraid to go to it anyway. VintageDoubleHose.com. I think you'll really enjoy it. Say hi to my friend, Brian. Anyway, I thought you might enjoy that. Alec Pierce Tech Tips. Talk to you again real soon.